What's up guys, welcome back once again to Digital Reviews. Today I'm going to do a short video on how to get free performance out of your GPU. Before we start, if you're not currently an Amazon Prime subscriber, then please consider signing up today. Amazon currently offer a 330 day trial, giving you access to all the Prime benefits. Prime is one of the best monthly subscriptions available giving you access to benefits such as free premium delivery on millions of items, access to Prime Video to stream thousands of movies and films, exclusive early access to lightning deals, free access to a selection of ebooks, comics, magazines and more, plus Amazon Photos. Please follow my affiliate link in the description below. This helps to support the channel by the small kickback I receive for each trial sign up. Thank you. Today we're going to look at how to get some free performance out of your GPU using just MSI Afterburner and NVIDIA Control Panel, so let's get into it. Right, so the first thing I did was to run a test at stock settings on Tomb Raider, highest settings at 1440p, uh, and as you can see from here we've got an average FPS of 77. So now what I'll do is I'll show you the settings which you can change in order to increase this without overclocking, uh, and we'll go from there, and then we'll do another test and we'll see the difference it has made. First thing I'm going to do is go into the NVIDIA control panel, wait for that to load up, and then what we want to find from there is manage 3D settings. Now this will be set to st uh, stock, uh, so this is basically the default setting, and uh, so what we want to do is we want to come down this list and we want to find the power management mode, uh, and then basically what we want to do is it will be set to optimal power to start with, and what we want to do is prefer maximum performance, so this will enable more power for the GPU. Uh, and hopefully give us some better better results in terms of benchmarking. So we'll apply that, and then from there, what we need to do is we'll close that. We need to go into MSI Afterburner, and this is a, a free piece of software that anybody can use. Uh, it works really well, and we're going to adjust a few settings in this, and uh, to basically give you some more performance without actually overclocking as such. So the first thing we're going to do is you see the core voltage here at the top uh, in percentage is at zero at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to whack that right up to 100%. So that allows the graphics card 100% core voltage. And then from there we've got a power limit switch here as well and what we're going to do is we're going to take that from 100% up to 150 and this also increases your temperature limit up to 90. Now bear in mind this is safe, this isn't going to give you any issues, um, it's just going to allow the graphics card to take a bit more power and also get a little bit hotter but we shouldn't be reaching uh, up to 90 degrees um, at all so we'll basically apply those settings and then we'll get into another test of Shadow of the Tomb Raider and we'll see uh, what difference that makes basically. Right, so as you can see, from just adjusting those few settings, just tweaking it a little bit, increasing the power limit, increasing the temperature limit, um, we can see that we can get an extra 3 FPS on average. So it's not a great deal, but it is an improvement nevertheless. Um, obviously this is basically something you can do to your graphics card to get a little bit more performance out of it without uh, actually overclocking it yourself if that's something you're worried about. So there's 80 frames per second there, over 77 um, from the previous test. However, we will do a quick overclock um, just to uh, increase it a little bit and see what we can get from there. Right, so now we've done that test and just adjusting those few little settings to start with, we're going to apply a small overclock to this. Now I have played around with this graphics card before so I kind of know what I can expect out of this. So we're just going to go 45 on the core clock and we're going to go 500 on the memory clock and we're going to apply that. So that's just a small overclock and then basically we'll see what that does to our results in Tomb Raider. Right, so as you can see, we managed to get 83 FPS out of this just by applying a very small overclock to the graphics card. And this is 6 FPS more than the stock settings, so it's not a massive improvement, but it is an improvement nevertheless. So if you're willing to push your graphics card a little bit, you can get a bit of extra performance out of it. Right, so as you can see from the results, um, just increasing the power limits and the core limits on MSI Afterburner does give you a little bit of extra performance. It's not a great deal, um, but it's something you can do to your graphics card that you might not have known. Um, basically just to increase a little bit of performance. Uh, it's not going to give you a great deal, like I say, but it's worth doing. Um, it's not going to hurt your graphics card at all. Um, but obviously then you can then go on to using MSI Afterburn to do a small overclock or a big overclock depending on how you're feeling. Um, if you want to push it a bit further then obviously 
uh, feel free to do that. One thing I will say is un make sure you uncheck the uh, Windows button on MS Afterburner so that if it does crash, it won't try and load the same settings again when you start up and keep crashing your computer. So it's good to have that while you're tinkering until you've got a final setting locked in. Now in terms of overclocking, um, you can't really consider yourself stable until you've tested it on all the games and applications that you use. So just using one game like I did, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, is not going to confirm stability. Um, so make sure you test it in everything you use and then basically if it falls down or anything then dial it back a little bit and see how you get on. Um, so like I say I hope you enjoyed that. Most people that are watching this may already know this kind of thing but this is for people that aren't sure about overclocking or don't know these little uh, things exist and that you can increase your performance by and actually not overclocking. Um, like I say like I said before, it doesn't give you a massive performance boost, but it does give you something, and like I say, it's not going to hurt your GPU. I hope you found that interesting, and um, please consider subscribing to the channel, every little helps. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and leave me any comments in the comment section below, um, whether good or bad, depending on what you feel, give me some pointers if you have any input to give me in terms of what I could do differently or how much I can push my graphics card. Uh, any help is appreciated uh, and please don't forget to follow the affiliate link for Amazon in the description below if you want Prime subscription. I'll see you in the next one guys.